If you choose to give birth in hospital, there are some essential items you will need to bring with you just to make life easier before, during and after labour. I would also recommend that you have your hospital bag packed at least six weeks in advance of your delivery date. Here are some of my suggestions for what you should pack. Firstly, you will need some loose fitting night dresses with poppers down the front as it will make it easier for breastfeeding your baby afterwards. You will also need to bring your TENS machine, so it's good to have this to hand. As soon as you start feeling contractions, you can pop it on. You'll need to bring some socks and some slippers too. If you choose to get an epidural, your feet can get quite cold, so that is why you will need the socks. It's also handy to bring some massage oil. So for your lower back ache during contractions, your partner can massage your back to help relieve some of this pain. You will also need to bring some lip balm. If you're using gas and air, your mouth can tend to get quite dry and also your lips can get cracked, so it will help prevent that. Earplugs are another handy thing to bring in with you. If you're admitted antenatally and the lady beside you is a little bit of a snorer, they are great to have so that you can get some rest. You will need to bring your own toiletries in with you and ensure that you have some hair bands and hair bobbins packed too because it will keep the hair back from your face during labour. It's also very important to bring some flip flops and bring your own towels with you. Towels will be provided for a baby but you need to provide your own. You will also need to bring maternity pads with you and disposable underwear. The other option is to just bring some cheap underwear and throw it out afterwards. So make sure you bring some breast pads in with you and some nipple cream for when you're breastfeeding your baby. You will also need to pack some maternity bras. You should really get measured for your maternity bra from about 36 weeks. So ensure that that is done and you have them packed. Something that's often overlooked is snacks for labour. If you are admitted overnight, often the hospital shop is closed and so with the canteen. So it's essential that you pack some snacks for both you and your partner to keep you going. So that's you covered. Now let's move on to baby. Obviously nappies are the first thing you will need to pop in your bag and plenty of them. You will have frequent changes of them. You will also need to bring some vests and some baby grows, about six to eight of each. There can be frequent changes in the first few days, so you will need plenty of them. You'll also need to bring with you a cardigan, hat and mitts for baby. Essentials too for the bag, some bibs and some burping cloths. In the bag too, you will need some cotton wool balls and just to have on standby, some baby wipes for the emergency need. You will need to bring your own blankets with you too. Cellular blankets are what's recommended from birth up to the first year of life, so make sure you pack a couple of them. And last but not least, you need to bring vitamin D with you. Vitamin D drops are recommended from birth, so make sure you have them packed in your hospital bag. On our Apticlub website, we have a handy downloadable checklist to make sure that you have included all of these items. For more tips and advice, visit us at apticlub.ie.